Hello, uh, this is Michael and Claire. We are with the Motion Explosion and we are guest teachers this month uh, for the 9th special. We're going to show you a little recap of what we did for our Lindy 3 class, where we worked on connection in open position and the various rhythmic accents that we can do. So, um, the very first thing that we talked about is using the floor to move, like in our other class. Whenever I do a rock step or a triple step, I want to make sure my knees are bent and that I'm pushing the floor away from me in order to move my body. Right? And this is as opposed to just staying very high, which is okay, but for this class purposes, we want you guys to stay low. We learned a little mini routine that will challenge us in those concepts. So we're going to show you the mini routine and then we're going to break it down for you. So, the very first thing we did was to review the swing and swing close. We did it in a little different way so we can learn something out of it, and that thing was the stretching. So, as you notice, when I do the swing out, I wait for the follower to turn me. So, if he's stopping on the count of four, one, two, three, and four, all I do, I step back on five, the follower keeps traveling, and she unwinds me. And this only works because I really travel on five and six. So if we do it again, five, six, seven, eight. I really travel and that's what unwinds him. So in the end of the traveling, we have a very nice stretch and we can do a swing out. We learned that for this class, for, this pur for our purposes of learning the stretch, we want to start the swing out with a rock step and stay in our places more or less on one, two and travel toward each other on three and four. So we're going to stretch on one, two. One, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna finish five, six. On six, my weight is here, her weight is there, and I can push to do my triple step. So I feel this because I'm applying a slight pressure on his left arm, and I feel when he's going left and right. So that's really important to feel it. Right, so the going to the sideways on seven and eight is all lead and follow, it's all connection based. She doesn't do her triple step because she sees me, but because she feels it with her connection. So she constantly presses her arm against my arm. So if we do it again, for open position, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel the connection here. The next move is the turn. I, we keep the connection here. We always have an, a slight resistance. And that's how I feel that he's going to take me. Rock step to the side. Right. And then the connection is kept. All I'm doing, I'm turning my own body. And I reconnect with her. Right? So we're using that connection. The last thing we learned was a, a rhythmic variation, an accent. We can do in the end of the swing out. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one. How do we lead that? Uh, same kind of connection. If she's pressing against my arm, she would feel my body going that way, right? She would also feel me going up and down. So if my knee is bent and I'm jumping and I'm going that way, she would feel that. Right? Now, the footwork, just gonna break it for you, for the guys, what I'm doing, let's see, switch places. What I'm doing for the guys, with my right leg, I bent my left leg, and I jump over my left leg as I'm kicking. Kick will change, and I'm falling on my right. If kicking and jumping is too complicated, or, it, or if you're not ready for it yet, you can just fall on that leg, cross, and step to the same thing. So the footwork for the followers is the same thing on the other leg. We're going to go seven and eight, one. I'll do that again. Five, six, seven, and eight, one. And, and that uh, was uh, it for the Lindy 3. Right. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again. Thank you.